the Last Supper, I must admit that I was offended. That even in the eyes of an artist as brilliant as you, the richness of Jesus' melanin couldn't find life, and your paintbrush nose stroke yeah. of genius came to you as you erased the dirt that made these men. Leonardo, yeah. do you remember Genesis 127 when you began the words, we are made in our creator's image, only left you to your own reflection. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. narcissist. You see, you lack the understanding of omnipotence that reflection doesn't always give justice to the insides. Did you leave his hair of wool and eyes of fire in the same place you left your dignity? The story goes that Jesus told these men to eat and drink in remembrance of him. You know, body and blood, faith unwavering, well aware of the fate that awaited him when you couldn't even find the courage to give justice to his complexion. Could you imagine the millions of cathedrals your artwork would bring lives to? It's no surprise that so many statues weep Red, dry, sticky, sweet over the image of the father being so skewed that you forced him to stay in the glass so the lives would like to look to. How can it be if Jesus labored in the boring sun in the desert dry heat to end his journey in Jerusalem to look like freshly dropped snow? Was this your idea of a little white lie? Or maybe it was the concept of one black man leading 12 others that was too much for you. Or maybe it was knowing the future trials and tribulations that weighed heavy on you. You know, I can imagine the sweet nothings the leaders of the church must have whispered to you that it was God that ordained their footstep to lead a congregation to complacency. But it would be a lot easier if you could just lighten up a few things, Leonardo. You should have told them that white is the absence of color, but black is the presence of all things. You do this with art. Did you smile while you painted your betrayal? Sing hallelujah like the false prophets before you. Was it easier for you to believe that miracle couldn't come from darkness? Your hard work has caused more confusion than the building of Babylon. Everyone speaks of his grandeur, but has never known his true face. You ask me, the correlation of olive branch to olive skin, both a promises of peace, Leonardo. Come let us eat. Feast like we are kings on a conversation that long overdue. You are the prodigal son that needs to come home. Let's sit for our last supper like the brother and sister we really are. Ah!